Hey guys, it's Ashley and this is Downright Bookish and today we're going to be talking about my Q1 goals. I was really excited to do a different method for tracking my goals in Q1 and separating my goals instead of having a yearly goal to maintain, breaking it into quarters to make the goals more manageable. I wanted to give the quarterly goal planning a shot and see how that did for me because I think trying to focus on doing something for a much shorter period of time was more manageable and just more achievable. So today I'm gonna go into what my goals were for the first quarter, how I did for those, and talk about my goals for the second quarter. So yeah, let's just get into it. So I had three categories of goals that I wanted to maintain between January and March. The first was like the main category, which was my reading goals. I also had channel goals um, for my YouTube channel and writing goals. I can already tell you I failed miserably on my writing goals, which is not a surprise because that's usually the goal within my like yearly goals that always falls to the wayside. I have hopes for this next quarter, which I will talk about later, but yeah. So let's just get into the reading goals that I set for myself. So my first really main focus, because I have a huge TBR that I'm trying to slowly whittle down, just focusing on my TBR is not something that's feasible for me because I'm really excited about new books coming out and don't want to limit myself to picking books that I already own, if that makes sense. I know that sounds really bad, but I just, I am a mood reader, so being stuck with like, even though I have like a huge selection of books, I could probably find something I want to read. Just reading from my TBR for a full year would be like disastrous. I've tried it, never works. I still end up buying books and reading those. So I decided to start with reading books on my TBR, but reading books that have been on my TBR for over a year, since those are the older books, I'm losing interest in those books. Some of the books I don't even remember why I bought them. So by focusing on those books that have been on my TBR for over a year, I can try to read those and then work backwards so I'm not focusing on the newer books on my physical TBR. For this goal I decided to read two books that have been on my TBR for it over a year. And my second goal was to try to read some of the larger books that I own because those tend to be the most intimidating. I try to avoid those books because they take longer and also like cut back on my like overall goal for the year. But I decided to just set like two books that are over 500 words for the quarter. I didn't want to set like one per month because I didn't think that would be feasible. And then my third goal was to read nonfiction. I have a lot of nonfiction. I really enjoy reading nonfiction when I do read it. Usually this is a goal that I maintain pretty well. I usually set a goal of reading one nonfiction book a month. Over the course of the year, it usually averages out to one nonfiction book a month. So for this, I just decided to read three nonfiction books for the quarter, so one per month. And then the last goal was to read more adult fantasy. I really love that genre, but for a while now, I haven't really been reading a ton from it. I haven't read much Brandon Sanderson before I started this goal, so that was kind of my main objective is to just get back into my interest in that genre and read more from it because I had a lot of books on my TBR too that fell into that genre. So this would be a good thing. And obviously all of these goals could overlap so I could theoretically read a book that has been on my TBR for over a year that is over 500 pages and that is also adult fantasy, which I did. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot of potential for overlap of my reading goals. So with the reading goals, how did I do? For the reading a book that has been on my TBR for over a year, I actually found I was much more motivated to do that than I have been in previous years where I've been trying to just read from my TBR because that gives me the option usually I read like three to four books in a month so I could really still read the books that I wanted to read in that month also with like a few of the books that are longer and intermingled. And I also think that having a lot of the goals be easily overlapped was really helpful too. I, I ended up reading four books from my TBR that have been over a year. That is, I probably would have gotten to six, but in March, obviously, 
there's a lot of things going on in the world and I was pretty demotivated to read during that time and probably towards the end of February because I was stressed out about the events that I was working on for work and found out that they weren't happening because of the virus and all of that. So it was craziness for work for me so I didn't read as much as I would have liked but I think in a normal like period I probably would have gotten to the six books a month. So, or six books a quarter. So that I was pretty proud of. So the books that I ended up reading that achieved this goal, Circe by Madeline Miller. I have a review of this book. I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad I kind of took the opportunity to read it because it turned out to be one of my favorite books of that month. I also read the Mistborn trilogy, which I'll go into because that overlaps with a ton of other goals that I have. So I glad that I also read this one because it achieved the goal of reading 500, a book that's 500 pages or more, and also the adult fantasy book. And I got an opportunity to experience Brandon Sanderson's writing firsthand. And I wasn't as impressed as I thought I was going to be. So I think that the hype is definitely strong with Brandon Sanderson but you know I'm still gonna continue on with the series so yeah. So the third book that I read was Dear Iju Owele or The Feminist Manifesto by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I was glad that I read it. It was a really short book so I was able to knock that one out pretty quickly. I also decided to read Beasts Made of Night by Tochi Onyobuchi and this book I was not as excited about after reading it. Um, I was really excited about the premise, but the execution just didn't really work for me. I don't think I'll be continuing on with the series, but glad I was able to knock it off my TBR. And finally, I actually read five books, so that's really cool. So I did get really close to this goal. The fifth book was The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill, and absolutely adored this book. I love it so much. I think it's the perfect book for a young audience, but also for an older audience, and I think it would be a good book to read as a family. I did really good with that goal, which is nice. I've decided to set the same goal for the second quarter, so I'll be reading two books from my TBR that have been there for over a year for every month in the second quarter as well. So the books are 200 pages. I did read Mistborn, which is over 500 pages, but I did not read another tome this quarter. So that goal I'm also setting for the second quarter. So I'm going to try to get, I just set the same goal because I didn't reach it. I'm going to aim for two tomes. So yeah. So the third goal was to read three nonfiction books. I was two thirds complete with this goal. A trend here you'll notice is that I almost made like most of these goals. I don't think I actually accomplished any of them if I'm being honest fully, but I read two nonfiction books. I mentioned the first one previously, Dear Iju Awele, and also I read an outlining book, which applies to another goal in my um, in my writing goals as well. So those are the two nonfiction books that I read. I believe I'm gonna set this goal again for the second quarter, just because I usually set it for a year where I just read a book a month, a nonfiction book a month, and I don't think it's that super challenging so I'm gonna go with that too and usually it averages out by the end of the year so and the adult fantasy I wanted to read one per month but I only ended up getting to Mistborn so yeah while I think I had good intentions with this goal I don't think I'm gonna be setting it for the next quarter because I think like restricting myself to sp trying to read a specific genre every month is going to be detrimental to me because I finished Mistborn, got my like interest in the um, adult fantasy genre, and then didn't really have any interest to pick up another adult fantasy through that time. So I think it just asking myself to read the same genre every month is going to be difficult just because I don't think I would be in the mood to read that much of the same type of book, but we'll see. I might decide to add it back in future quarters, but for this quarter I decided not to include a goal about reading a specific genre. And my next goal was my channel focus goal and that was to produce one video every week and that roughly was about 13 videos. I did okay with this goal. I published a video every week in January. I missed three weeks in February but I did complete every video in March. So I missed three videos so I got to 10 videos this quarter which is 
pretty impressive in my opinion. I'm gonna have the same goal for this quarter and I'm gonna aim to complete every video this week. Though I have already technically missed a week, the second week of April, so we're working what we have. But yeah, I really think that I want to continue with this goal. Tracking it has been really nice and that has kept me motivated. Also, there has been like a ton of views, like a really large spike in views in my channel. And that has also been like motivating to keep posting. So yeah, that is something I'm going to keep on for the second quarter. And finally, the writing goals that I have. The first goal I wanted to achieve was to write 2,500 words every week. Did not accomplish that goal at all. I think I maybe achieved it one or two weeks out of the whole quarter. So that was an epic fail. My other goal was to read three books about writing. So this would overlap obviously with my three nonfiction books. I did read one, but did not get to two other books in that year. And then the last goal was to finish outlining my novel and did not finish that. So again, I've probably done this every year with my writing goals is like fail miserably when it comes to keeping up with writing. And it's something I really want to focus on changing. So this year, this quarter, I've made a goal that is a little less like hectic. I had three writing goals that were a little much, I think, to manage and just it felt a little daunting. So for this goal, I have it's one simple goal. And this quarter, I want to complete the Tomi Adeyemi's Writer's Roadmap course. She, re she recently announced that she's going to be doing a Writer's Roadmap course, which is basically tips for outlining your novel and kind of her process. So I signed up for the course. I'm really excited. If anyone is watching this and has signed up for the course too, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can kind of do it together. I don't know. I'm really excited for it. It's 10, I think, video sessions. So I just want to get through the 10 and kind of follow her prompts and guidance and finish it in the quarter. So I'm giving myself three months to finish this course. Also, she's doing monthly Q&A videos that I signed up for as well. So really excited about that. And I think having that community and also having those Q&A videos and getting to hear from her and even potentially getting to ask my own questions will really keep me motivated to continue on with the course. And also I spent a good fraction of, <laughs> I spent a good amount of money on this course. So I feel like that, um, financial burden <laughs> it would also be a good motivator. But yeah, I'm really excited and I think that is going to be my main writing goal focus for the second quarter. So yeah, those are my quarterly goals and that's how I did for the quarter. So basically this is a quick rundown of the goals that I am striving for in the second quarter. I want to read six books that have been on my TBR for at least over a year. I want to read three nonfiction books and I want to read two books that are over 500 pages. I want to post at least one YouTube video every week this quarter. And then for my writing goals, I want to complete the Tomi Adeyemi course. So yeah, simple. I'm kind of paring down on my goals so I can really try to achieve them this quarter. So yeah. And I also wanted to briefly mention that I use like a Kanban board process in my previous quarter to kind of track where I was with goals. While I liked that idea and it was nice to kind of see it like visually on my wall, it takes a lot of paper, like a lot of sticky notes to kind of list out every goal and then move the sticky notes around. So I decided to convert this process into a like application tool. So I'm using Notion to track my goals. And if you wanna know more about how I'm using Notion, let me know in the comments and maybe I can like create a video for you guys. But basically, I just decided that it's a lot easier for me to track the goals on like a digital format because then I can just grab my phone, update my goals, or if I'm using my laptop, do the same thing. And it's much more easier to manage um, because I can do it when like I'm away or something like that, though for right now, staying at home is kind of the 
um, topic of the year. <laughs> but yeah, those are my quarterly goals. I'm really excited to see how I perform this quarter. If you guys are setting quarterly goals, let me know in the comments below and let me know what goal you're most looking forward to achieving this quarter. Or if you've set yearly goals, let me know what goal you're most looking forward to achieving. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon with another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.